Sometimes we all deserve a lovely treat and we're gonna cook a beautiful steak. This is for me and Jules, steak night, date night. I'm gonna make my version of a red chimichurri sauce, full of flavor, full of life. It takes your everyday steak to the next level. So look, I've got a pan here, non-stick, large, on a medium heat. Let's start with the steak. Beautiful sirloin of beef. It's nicely marbled and we've got this lovely fat here. And what I would suggest to do is pull this fat off, slice this up into little chunks. And what we can do is make crispy bits and render it down to create the oil that goes in this pan. So instead of putting butter or oil in this pan, we're gonna cook the steak in the steak fat. And then here, get the knife and I'll just skim off that tough piece of sinew. So we'll get rid of that. Then I'm gonna put in here a couple of cloves of garlic. I'll leave the skin on. I'm gonna do one thicker steak for two people. Season that with lots of nice black pepper and then some sea salt. Pat that in and then just roll it around the board to pick it all up. I'm gonna wash my hands in the pan. You can see it's starting to sizzle now. As that's happening, I'm gonna use two lovely chilies. They're normally sort of medium hot, but by scraping away these seeds, you're cooling it down massively. And then I've got a bunch of spring onions here and give them a trim and they go in as well. Let's do the sauce part. I'm gonna take the chili, half of the spring onions go in there and then the garlic, I'll just remove that skin. Half a bunch of parsley. Also, I'm using jarred peppers. Half a jar, in that goes. Now, take those splits of spring onion and crispy bits off, and we'll put those to one side. In the pan now, that is when our steak goes in. When you're pan frying a steak, do it a minute on each side until it's cooked to your liking. So whether it's well done, medium, medium rare, whatever you like. So I'll do a turn now. And what I love about this recipe, it's got a really nice flow. So as that's happening, over here, put a nice little lug of extra virgin olive oil in there as well. And then red wine vinegar, pinch of salt and pepper. And that, whizzed up, is gonna be amazing. The sauce is done. Let's keep turning the steak around. I reckon that's gonna be about medium, medium rare. I'm gonna place that on top of the spring onions to rest. So the sauce here, let me just try a bit. Wow. You've got heat, but very gentle. I'm gonna take some of this sauce straight on there like that. Three or four nice big spoons. The steak here, carve it about half a centimetre thick. Nice and blushing. That is exactly how my Jules likes it. Lovely spring onions. And then the crispy bits. Now to go with that, I've put in the oven a beautiful sweet potato. I'm just gonna smash it up with some parsley. Right, little taste before I serve it to my lovely, lovely girl. Look, we got the steak here. And that, with the sauce, and let's get a crispy bit. Come on, crispy bit, come over here. It's gonna be a thing of joy. It is so tender. Cooking the steak in its own fat makes it really, really delicious. That sauce takes your everyday steak to the next level. Right, let's serve it up to Jules. Right, lovely girl, what do you reckon? It's really nice, it's very fresh. I like your dress, you look so pretty. You like it? Amazing. It steaks like butter. <laughs> Buddy! Bud, don't ruin our romantic night. <laughs>